Grom riding today. It's been a long time. We had to dig these things out of their dust covered holes. I was going to say, they're a little dusty. <laughs> that's pretty sad. They honestly, they both fired up though. Did they? Fun. Yeah, the batteries weren't dead or anything. Good deal. Do you want to spray them down or just ride them? Just ride them. Just ride them? Just ride them. All right. Get the stink. Get dad out off. here. Hey, Dawn. Here, I found you another goodie. This one you might want. This one you might want. Oh, exhaust gasket for a KLX 110 that we don't have. That's perfect. <laughs> Got my dad's highlighter yellow Grom out here. And I don't even think this Grom has reached the channel, maybe in the Florida videos, but this is my mom's custom painted Grom. My dad did this for her for Christmas and he did it so it matched her Harley. And shout out to Decal Dino to match the cream on her Harley. So this thing's looking nice. These things have how many miles on them, you think? I have 1,400 miles. And those are easy road miles, not like ours. Mine's 42. Barely over 1,000 on this. What's up? Well, I can't believe this is happening right now, but I'm about to hop aboard my Grom. It's been a long time. I'm surprised that the batteries held a charge and these things fired up. It's my first time actually riding with a working handbrake, so I keep going to grab for it like it's the clutch, but this little one finger is the clutch. It's pretty confusing. I hope I did everything right. My wheel doesn't come flying off. All right, y'all, we are on a Grom ride. <laughs> she doesn't realize! <laughs> And it feels so weird to be on a Grom, and I don't have a visor, so I apologize if you can't hear me because of the wind and my exhaust, but we got all of us out here on a family Grom ride, going to go get something to eat, and then we're going to hit Iron Pony and hopefully get some gear. I'd like a new helmet, possibly, but Tanner's dad's going to get some off-road gear, so it'll be a good ride. Hopefully we beat the rain. <laughs> Definitely feels so weird. Even when I hopped on the bike, I was like, my handlebars are so low. Like, it's just so different than, you know, riding dirt. It's a nice change, though. Nice. I don't think I'll be able to kickstand him. What the hell are you doing, Dad? <laughs> Detour after detour today. Just enjoying the weather though, it's beautiful. No, now we gotta go down the main drag. 
I'm gonna blow up my Grom. I keep forgetting to use my turn signal. I'm not used to it. Were you pinned? <laughs> wow, my clutch is slipping really bad. My dad's taking the detour. Alexis too. She's the only one with knobbies. But we are hitting one of our favorite breakfast spots right now. Shout out to Scramblers. Hopefully we don't hit anybody in the parking lot, my mom included. I got a fellow scooter bro. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that was really, really, really good. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we got our bellies full. I'm about to eat it right here. And now we're headed to Iron Pony to get my dad some gear. I don't need anything, so I probably shouldn't look too hard because I can find something. Woo wee! I feel like a bloated turd right now. Alexis loves her HMF exhaust. I love it too because it's only loud when you get into it. If you're just like cruising, it's pretty manageable, but some of the exhausts for these bikes are just way too obnoxious. Get to the pony. I really want to try out this handbrake, but I really don't at the same time. Should we try it out? Just loop out right now? good I'm licensed insured and all that good stuff I don't have a mirror though and I don't want to turn around and make it obvious I don't know how well you guys can hear me but I've used to mow grass in this neighborhood right here a bunch of higher-end homes but we had probably 20 accounts in there and man we just spent a full day cutting trimming and I worked for a smaller company and I was one of the main guys so it's pretty much all me and Occasional help from a few employees. People wouldn't last long though. Landscaping's no joke. What's up? <laughs> Aside, <dude. laughs> they are. Have you had your grom a while? Yeah, about a year. Okay, nice. What's your name? What's that? What's your name? Chris. Tanner. Alexis! us, yeah. No wheelies. He's going to do a burnout. Strolling through downtown Westerville right now. Not too far from here is the Westerville Skate Park where me and my cousin used to go when we were kids. 
We used to ride our bikes like 15 miles just to get there. And that was on BMX bikes with one speed, so it was worse than it sounded. But it was a blast. When you're a kid, you don't think about it that much. You're just out to have fun and enjoy the adventure, man. I still love riding bikes around. When Alexis and I got together, we rode bikes quite a bit. I had got a Sunday Model C. It was a 24 inch, so it was pretty good for my size. If I had to do it again, I would just get a 29er, honestly. But then my old DK bike, my dad custom painted purple, and I gave it to her for Valentine's Day, and we rode those bikes quite a bit. That was back when I was doing landscaping, and we'd go out at like midnight when everyone was sleeping and go hand out flyers in neighborhoods and stuff like that. But it was a good time. I love riding bikes for sure. Right now, I just have my road bike, which I still ride quite a bit. I actually just got it back up and going and sat over the winter and tires were flat and I needed to get new tires on there, but I've been riding it quite a bit. I think that guy said his name was Chris, so shout out to Chris. He's part of the Grom Squad on Facebook. If you're in the Central Ohio area, go ahead and add yourself to the group. And that is the Central Ohio Grom Squad, ran by Mr. Matt Carroll, Mr. OMRL champion himself. I haven't seen him in a while, man. I miss that dude. We're pulling up to Iron Pony right now, brother. Get to the pony. Yee, yee, yee. I see some dirt bikes in the back of trucks here. We got to see what's going on to that. Hey, live to ride. Live to ride. Live to ride. All right, we got an XR100, it looks like. This kid is pumped. Got a quad god. We have a, two KXs. A badass Tacoma. Shout out to Mr. Not Too Close, dude. This thing is sick. What else we got showing on the lot? Nice Super Duty. I'm digging the Tundra. You see who's here? What? You see who's here? No. That's Mandy's DRZ. Oh, she works here. I forgot. Alexis already found something at the pony. What'd you get? I got a new helmet. It's pretty sweet. Hopefully. I like it. I'm happy with it. And it's on sale. Red sticker. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fine <laughs> sentence. Man down. Well, I hope some of you out there enjoyed the ground footage. I know it's been a long time and it was much requested, especially getting the family out there with us. I had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Got my dad all kitted up for the weekend. Alexis got a new dual sport helmet and stay tuned because very shortly you're going to see my dad's first ride on the KDX 200. That's a pretty awesome video. I got him a full GoPro setup and everything. I don't know how much he talked, but nevertheless, it'll be interesting. Let me know if you want to see more ground videos. There's a little bit of footage left from that ride. I actually tried out the handbrake for the first time and got the hang of it pretty good. So if you want to see that, let me know. But I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And until tomorrow's video, I'll see you then. <laughs>